Games here. Let's revisit Theater of War. Some of you may ask, what the heck is Theater of War? It is something similar to Combat Mission. Not that high on realism and simulation. Combat Mission is in this department still king, but the collection models some interesting theaters like Early War, the first one, and the Korea, the Korea, Co Korean War, almost never tackled in uh, video games. And yeah, uh, Theater of War, there are four games, and I don't know how many years have passed since I touched this game. I remember some of you might know it also from the Battlefront page. It was also, you were also able to get it there. But I think they were only publisher, not developer, but I'm not sure. Also remember that um, they also had a Russian publisher, 1C. Not sure if they are still there, but back in the days they published a lot of games. Yeah, give me a moment to set up the stream and I'm using a, re a replacement microphone for the time being. Okay, and then we will check out all the games from 1 to 4 or 1 to 3. Africa and Kursk looks like they're separate releases, but okay. Looks like they're separate releases, but okay. The sound is working. Perfect. We already have some audience. If there's something with the sound, let me know. Yeah, I've just got it on Steam, and my memories aren't that good. I remember. There was, uh, I, I tried some of them when I was really young. I don't know how many years have passed. And I remember the AI was giving me a big headache. I think Korea, but it was basically right on release. Yeah, I've started Theater of War. I've installed everything in Steam. Well, I also tried to run Reshade with it. And it looks like the game is running and even automatically installs a mod, a mod called GSH. Not sure I'm not deep into Theater of War modding, but interesting, interesting install method on Steam. Yeah, I might immediately hit reshade. It's even shown here, okay. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it will be DirectX 9 or something. Yeah, they changed something with reshade. I don't know, a lot of options. I just want to stick. I didn't try out this stuff here, but right now I don't want to... I want the legacy shaders. Looks like they are for some reason are called legacy. Uh. Okay. And it's now installed here. I only need this folder here. And uh, first, let's test out if it is really DirectX or if it is OpenGL. Ah, that's okay. But doesn't matter which exe, as long the reshade DLL is in the folder, every exe will trigger it. Well, I guess this must be the exe. Everything sounds good. Pathfinding this game sucks. Yes, that's awesome. Um, my memory that vehicle pathfinding was absolutely horrible which was 
so bad. Uh, it looks like reshade didn't trigger. Is it one of those odd, odd games or is it OpenGL? Okay, let's test out OpenGL. Uh, yes. What the heck? Fucking hell, don't open my browser. What the hell are you doing, you? Fucking program. Okay. Jesus Christ. I hate if stuff simply opens your browser up. Okay, let's test it out. Fucking program. At least ask me, give me, do you want to be linked or whatever? Don't, don't simply open the goddamn browser. Okay, it is OpenGL, it seems. So, yeah, okay. Uh, let's uh, create a new profile. Okay. Let's see if he's. Oh, looks like is getting even my refresh rate. That's good. Uh, let's set everything to high in the beginning. I read some. Okay, we'll discuss some. Is it better? Hide buddies. Well. Show vehicle motion. What is hide buddies? Doesn't sound like better graphic. Yeah, we need to restart. We will do, but first let's set everything. I hope it is WASD controls. Could be that it isn't. Those older games are still controlled by. Uh, it isn't. Damn it. Yeah, I might. Can I reset it? Yes. Yeah, I might overwrite some of the. But I'm absolutely not going to play with arrow keys. Okay. Rotate left. Rotate right. It's fine. Sound. Yeah, EAX interesting is in the in the game. You can basically use EAX with almost all sound chips now. You need there's a tutorial there are almost no games with EAX anymore because EAX is a dead is basically dead but back in the days and there are some games that really have nice EAX sound and you can if you want read really the hundred percent you need to get an Audi G or creative sound card but most most um, sound cards even on board chips have an emulation chip or something and there's an online manual how you can unlock it and then you need to use this alchemy software of creative and you can and they, Enable it. But, yeah. yeah, okay, let's listen to the music for a moment. And I think everything is set now. Let's exit the game and restart. Yeah, and you see the mod is loaded. Okay, it looks better. Let's check out multiplayer. Why not internet? Uh, uh, why not? I would. Yeah, I was expecting this. Not sure if it even could work. If somebody else of you would be now in the internet browser, if it would show up. Because it could be that the master server is long gone. 
and only local or direct IP mic work because the server browser is working over a uh, Um, no, normally it requires a master server. Okay, encyclopedia, but don't open my goddamn bro browser. Oh, this this looks nice. Yeah, let's check out. What the heck? Yeah, why can't we can port this into a combat mission? Stuff like this would be absolutely awesome. Some really exotic vehicles. Yeah, model quality is okay. Of course, the game is a bit older. But good thing is that you have really some odd vehicles here. Even French ones, interesting. Interesting. That's a German vehicle. Is it... Uh, uh, this uh, this a boy the Panzer, I think, yeah, a uh, capture tank, a uh, French. Uh, the usual suspects. Yeah, this this thing. Well, I I'm wondering why they're not uh, adding it to combat mission. Looks like this this pack forty or what is it? Yeah. Pack 40 on a half track. That's what uh, I would like to see it in combat mission. Okay, captured. But that not. That, ah, that's only the scout cast. God damn it, not bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I won't check out everything, but. Uh, look at this, a Jagd Tiger. Yeah, I'm curious about. The modeling, I can't remember anything anymore. But some interesting vehicles. Archer, not bad. It looks like it is a multi front game. I was thinking the first is Eastern Front, but looks like it is multi front. Servers are probably dead. Snowmobiles captured French. Yeah, it is for sure. You can tell it by the shield it got. It is for sure. Pack 40, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I've heard that this combination here was what the hell? This combination was. Is this a stummel? Yeah, interesting. It's a machine gun. I would also like such a version in in combat mission. But yeah, what? I mean, because the Stummel don't have a machine gun, they only have the Stummel. This would be, of course, a more more flexible vehicle. But this year, I heard that what it was not that uncommon. This combination. Yeah, let's check out some. Ah, that's captured German tanks by the Soviets. Ah, Sturm 3, Okay, interesting. Yeah, I think this mod adds a lot of the vehicles. I can't remember that there were so ma many. But quite good selection of vehicles here. Let's check out. Do they have even some early tanks? What is that? Ah, that's tank destroyers. The tanks are even coming. That's only tank destroyers or oh, self-propelled guns. Yeah, anti-aircraft. Yeah, not bad. Content is a lot in this game. And I mean, it must be it must be to some extent successful, otherwise you wouldn't have done four games of it. Yeah, Dodge. Yeah. Just read about this vehicle. Now the tanks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the hell? Not bad, not bad. Polish tanks even. Yeah, this is absolutely crazy. I mean... He has two. Ah, okay. That's basically late war. I guess um, communist, com communist Polish forces or whatever. That there were some Polish units or somewhat in, in, the, in the late war. Yeah. Yeah. Got 
a lot of tanks here especially a lot of tanks you don't see in combat mission i know i like this early war stuff you know there's some this this really little tanks and because the combat was back completely different the germans had um yeah some of these tanks even had only a machine gun this we are Yeah, especially the French tanks. I mean, we have some French tanks in Normandy. Combat mission Normandy. And used by the Germans. And this thing are also in use by the Italians in Combat mission. The Renault or Hotchkiss. Uh, I guess it was also built and licensed by others. Uh, basically every tank in a captured version Theodore 42 course 43 is the best one you should start from it Polish TKS strong tank it if you play man of war with mods you will recognize most of the stuff here ah, okay so they ported it to man of war is it by the same Devs or the the games or is it just the the content ported over? Yeah, we will play all games. I will simply to get a feel about the game. Like I said, I don't have good memories. I hope I will prove wrong. I mean, the content it looks a lot, really a lot. Look at look at this. I mean, I guess a lot of this might be added by the mod. I mean, Poland is quite interesting, all these extra campaigns. French. That's even more interesting. Let's start with Poland. I also like the interface, it looks quite modern. Um, which side are we? I mean, hold, prevent the enemy troops, so we must be the Polish side. Yeah, I think it comes with the order of battle. Yeah, which is always great. I don't, I won't change, I mean, reserves, we sh let's get some, I mean, it is a defense mission. Makes sense to bring AT guns instead of tanks. Yeah, let's. But I need to see how the vehicles operate. Uh, I want to see... Okay, we bring everything. No, not enough points. I need to see the vehicle AI. If it is really that bad like I remember. I mean, back in the days I remember they couldn't even drive straight. Uh, they, it was absolute carnage. But... Could be, uh, like I said, I didn't check the game much. And my gaming habits were, were different back then. Didn't have the big, the, the patience. Okay. Yeah, I think this game you command every single soldier. Don't like this. But if, if the group command controls are good, why not? What I liked in this game that there are no fast field repairs like turret is broken. GG tank. As it feels more like war game than Man of War. Yeah, Man of War is a great sandbox game. For me it is not authentic enough. It is I mean it is it is aiming not for complete authenticity, it is aiming for semi realistic action fueled gameplay and that's fine completely fine i mean but i like it as realistic as possible yeah i mean the graphics look basic but somebody reported it is absolutely ba having bad fps i don't see anything right now by it 
great to see some introductions here. Uh, fluid. I don't know what people always report. I, I, they, the, the, because somebody wrote like it was written in stone. The biggest problem of this game series is uh, that the FPS is this and that. But could be that it in battle might change. Uh, the, the VSD camera is a bit wonky. Okay, this reversed mouse controls. Uh, mouse wheel controls. Can I change this? Yeah, it isn't that important. Okay. Yeah, let's see what we can get with reshade. Um, wait. We will do it like this. I hope we can tap the game. I have some presets I'm using for shock for uh, for combat mission. I think they should also work for this stuff. The game is tapping without a problem, it seems. Oh, looks like um, reminds me of other game. And what the hell is this? Okay, I shouldn't press middle mouse button because reasons. What is this thing here? Get away. I think tubbing wasn't a good idea. Something is wrong with the controls right now. Or is it reshade? Okay, there's something interesting. What the hell is this? Never seen this. Okay, let's remove some of the effects. Some effect is triggering problems, it seems. Copy also this here. Yeah, I think it was this problem. Uh, some but some games require this as a comment mission pass on all input otherwise the game might have problems but now it seems to work I hope yeah. okay let's see colors do I want to blur it no I don't think um, I like it so more but let's show me a vehicle Uh, there's there's some reshade problem. Interesting. Never seen this happen. Some keys don't work if I have reshade on. First time I seeing this. Yeah, let's try something different. Luma Sharpen, where's Luma Sharpen? I'm looking for Luma Sharpen. Can 
Okay, I see if it's working. If it okay, it must be something with the profile, it seems. This is working. Yeah, it's a bit too bloomy. Too sharp. Yeah, so it's okay. Um, yeah, let's go. It works. I think it looks definitely better, at least for my eyes. Okay, is it every single soldier? Yeah, the camera is a bit wonky, but perhaps you can set the speed. Okay, my friend. <laughs> yeah, you're praying. Yeah, I keep praying. Ah, but I like this here. And there's some features that I would like to see in combat mission, like quickly dragging stuff through the setup zone. So the enemy is coming from here. You just tell me. Yeah. Well, my vehicles. Here. Uh, let's take a look how the graphics look. Well, I mean, it's okay with some effects. I think with some putting some effort into reshade, this can still look good. Even though without reshade, I think it's fine. What the heck is this? A face? <laughs> it looks like a, looks like a face. But I like the combo. Yeah, check out the interface. I like this information here. The UI really looks pretty good. I like the a yeah, lot of keys, but we can't use them because we are. Uh, let's start a battle. Okay, formation buttons. Yeah, let's check out what the vehicle does if I do a simple order like this. Even Polish. Polish localization. Yeah, sound is a bit muff muffled. At least for. Yeah, if I might change my music. Um, I think the in game music is not Hans Zimmer, <laughs> but that's fine. Perhaps disable the EIX could be the issue. Uh, now we hear, hear the car. It's, uh, okay, first test. Passed. Vehicle can drive in a straight line towards the road. I mean, not bad. Let's do something more. Can you link them up? Yeah. So, um, there's this, yeah, some common stuff in strategy games like Shift. With Shift, you can link up waypoints. And let's see what happens if I simply give an order like this. Can the car? Because I really remember. Oh, thanks coming. Wait. Ah, okay, this is a post. Ah, space. Good. Can I give orders while post? I think so. Very great. Yeah, you can even give stance orders here. Can I? What? My AT guns. So armor only. What is this? Center trick. Trick. Center. Shots fired. Sounds like a 20 millimeter or something. 30 millimeter. Is it this guy here? It looks like it's coming from the Germans. What was he firing upon? Can you reverse? What happens if I press retreat? Let's try it. Mm 
Friend, I think they are firing on you. You're about to die if you don't retreat. What is your problem? Is it do I'm using the order wrong? Um, okay, it's is the driver dead? Because he has no picture. Is he, is he already gone? Did you guys got hit? So hit the girls. Oh, there is. No, this is a hit decal. I don't think so. It looks more like uh, some service. <laughs> Polish tanks do not retreat. Command the save it for Polish tanks. I get it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, get, I think if I give him a normal waypoint, he will turn and die even faster. So let's face it. But what are they firing here? Simply firing because it's funny, or what is it? Yeah, uh, it's one of those early tanks, a Panzer II, I think. No, Panzer I even. And Panzer II, so yeah, they look similar. Yeah, really those early war tanks. Yes, yeah, sound could be better, but... I mean, I'm happy that this car... Where's the other tank? Something is exploding, not sure if it's good. Uh, yeah, guys, that's... That's not a good idea, but, um, but I, I understand that you lose somebody, right? Now you're retre retreating. I guess I need to hit the defend button. I did, uh, the, didn't I bring a second one? Okay. Yeah, I don't sure what you're planning. I don't think you will get this tank out, uh, this AT gun out of here. So defend. Is it working? Where are you? Wait, what? What are you planning? <laughs> no. Stop and fight. Turn that thing and uh, defend. An interesting gun. Ah, okay, now I think it's working. Now they're getting into combat position. You need to hit the defend button. Not, yeah, good hit. Yeah, I might hit everybody. Um, let's set everybody on defend. What is he doing? Yeah, looks like there's a lot of automatization going on in the vehicles. They fight somewhat too too liberate, I think. I I don't think I ordered the scout car to move forward. It looks like he himself got into a combat position. Yeah, Polish units go on attack, so might be better to hit the defend in order to prevent this. On the other hand, it's interesting. See if the retreat is working for this guy. Ah, he can retreat. Okay, the tank can't. Could be that the driver is somehow. Oh. Yeah. Are you okay? Ah, uh, he's stopping for fighting, right? Yeah, I don't think your scout car is a good idea here. Get the GTFO, please. <laughs> Now he's, yeah, but he's still fighting. I guess you need to press hold fire. It's a bit like combat mission. You need to figure out the combinations of orders in order to get more and better control. It is not always something you can say bad. It is simply figuring out and applying some brain. You see now he isn't stopping for fighting. 
I mean, I like it. The retreat command that he there's a combat, basically a combat retreat. Yeah, let's see if the infantry can do anything against those tanks. It, is, it reminds me from the combat fidelity, it, it, it reminds me of um, gravity teams a bit. It is not in the in the detail of the combat, it is not full realism like a combat mission is a bit a bit abstracted. Especially when it comes to infantry and stuff like this. I can already tell. Is, at least the behavior of the infantry is somehow reminiscent to gravity team and the sound a, a bit as well okay, the Germans suffering casualties <laughs> I don't know what you guys plan but I think this is not a good idea Yeah, that's often I, I often see this problem in games where infantry is mo um, is single single man infantry. They often do stuff that is rather okay. Can this IT gun be man be crewed again? You could. Okay, interesting. But not sure if it's a good idea. Here, who is this? Quill combat gear. What I like is that it seems the inventory is more is, is similar to Man of War. Good detail. I like that every soldier has single has skills. And that's the guy's squad or what? You do something against the tank. Okay, okay, stop. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Um, fire at will. Ah, here, hold position. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, get closer. Come on. Come on, double quick. This tank. No, somebody's sitting inside. <laughs> Come out! The Deutscher Hund, come in the raus! <laughs> okay, you want a Polish. Yeah, do you have grenades or something, my friend? No. Yeah, life. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, stop whatever you're doing. It isn't working. Um, fire at this guy here. Yeah. But what is this? This tank? Is it? I don't, I don't think he is operational. But you know what? Here, um, you, yeah, shift, shift, shift. Okay, what's this? Something changed. Whatever. Uh, that only three commands can be queued up, and then some line appears. Ah oh no, now it's working. Yeah, somebody else come as well. Yeah, this didn't work out, okay. <laughs> yeah, run. Uh, thanks, I'm designing some su super plans and... Yeah, okay, the skull car got lost because I don't know if he for some reason was thinking it's a good idea to drive forward. But this guy was so eager to defend his homeland. The hit marks. Unfortunately, not it seems. And now there is. This must be hit marks, so there is hit marks. I like it. Always like detail like this. Yeah, my. F Come on, get back. Yeah, this tank here is a bit strange. Yeah, and I can already tell this game has some 
could imagine that this game has rudder. What the heck are you doing? Is, uh, he's panicking. Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, it seems infantry is rather... Yeah, not worth that much, let's say. It's one of those games where infantry, where I guess vehicles are dominating. Yeah, looks bad for us. Are you fighting? I think... So. Something the sounds are really muffled. Uh, this is simply the game. But the camera is quite uh, somebody. I mean, it's it's okay. Uh, it's, and the frames are butter, butter, butter smooth. Not sure what people have uh, having always for issues. But like I said, the uh, Steam review is many people are not really that good there might be issues in some systems i don't want to 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 um, question it but there are definitely people on steam that are simply you know there's in it there's a saying the biggest issue is sitting between the chair the back of the chair and the monitor and it's yeah you know often, and these guys are often also really eager to point fingers at everything, Windows, system, game. Yes. Okay, no line of sight. There's some line of sight system. And hey, my friend, now show me that you... I mean, th what is this? Uh, caliber. What? 7.992? It's a joke, right? Yeah, but doesn't mean that you shouldn't fight. Fight. Why are you not firing on your own? Are you on hold fire? What's the problem? Okay, he's... Uh, fire on him. Ooh. Not bad. You lost something. You lost your... Uh, your... your... Drinks. I don't think this thing is looking good. The turret isn't... Fitting anymore. Who are these guys? Ah, interesting. Is this reinforcements arrived? Uh, look, they can even carry guns. Yeah, great that you are coming. But there's some automatization going on in their movement. I think this might lead to problems. Yeah, you see this? This is a bit strange. Perfect. Looks like they were going for something similar in the combat mission vein. Wanted to give the units li um, yeah, that they react like real soldiers, but yeah, if done, uh, this thing is already blown. Yeah, I'm just testing around. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I think that's a bad finding I was talking about. Um, yeah, let's link waypoints. Try to prevent giving waypoints through obstacles or whatever. Why is he not... Okay. Uh, is, is this not possible to queue up? Why is he me showing this here? And now it is possible. God damn it. Yeah, now it's working, I think. The line is only showing. Yeah, and for example, if you. I, I remember. Uh, perhaps it sometimes helps in games with swanky pathfinding. If you give pathfinding through trees, they do stupid stuff and try to give them basically waypoints that are uh, through open space and it should work out right, that, right now. Stop. Uh, is it working? I think it's uh, similar to Total War. Wait. No. 
dragging with right mouse in order to set the facing. No. Doesn't seem. It's a hotkey for facing. Who's this guy? It's a German. This is a German tank. Destroy him. Is it a German tank? No, of course it's a German tank. It's destroyed, I guess, right? The turret looks a bit... Uh, I don't think he's good. Oh, enemy tank. No, never! Fire! Not bad. 20mm, can you manage on your own? Turn, turn, turn! Okay, I help you. Uh, that's too late. My fr what the hell is this? A small tank. <laughs> yeah, run. Yeah, that's a tank cat. Uh, I like it because um, yeah, these things are very smaller, and you don't expect them if you see them on the battlefield, but you don't see infantry in comparison. Okay. Yeah, I think I saw enough. I want to see something else. Gray is destroyed but can be manned again. Ah, okay. Wait, I need to read the, the chat. A lot of messages. You have two 75mm cans. Yeah, I'm just testing out. This is not um, a serious playthrough, I'm just testing out. Uh, I've removed some of those AT guns. The game is slower paced than Man of War, because units have historical accuracy. Did you install last updates for this game? Not sure. I started the game and a mod was installed. It is on Steam. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think here somewhere I stopped. This level is pain for Poland side. Germans have a lot of tank and air support. It's what right, the first level of options. Ah, okay. Is there an option for it? That would be great. Ah, okay, thanks. What is the problem exactly? Missing unit textures. Where? Didn't see any missing textures. Or is it looking strange? Is the game normally looking different? You need a driver. Yeah, that's that. My, there was no driver in that tank. That's the problem. But they have morale, so when they panic, they run away. Um, that's that's. I think I like it. AT guns, the only car and tank have machine guns only, yeah, I see, I, I get it. Some of them should have, have at Grand, Grand. AT soldiers probably have, you got reinforcements. Line of fight, line of sight. Yeah. Have you inside last patches? It is the Steam version, not sure if, there is a version shown here in the right upper corner and GSH 1.3.5 installed automatically. Gray means destroyed. Centauro campaign. Centauro campaign, is it in the first one? Yeah, let's check out Fra Fra uh, the French. France. 
And yeah, I won't do a serious. I want, just want to check out the units now. Serious playthrough here, and then we will move on to the next games. We still have three games to check out. Yeah, looks fine to me. Some tanks. I might want to see the scout car. But we need to remove something for it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the OOBs, at least in this campaign, are a bit smaller. I like it. I like smaller OOBs, especially when the AI and pathfinding is problematic. It is easier to handle this stuff. You have last patch uh, installed, I see. Okay. Soviet is br brutal, never got forward in Kursk. Cause Ferdi Ferdinands have lots of frontal armor. Try Soviet or German campaign. Yeah, Mike do. I just want to see the French units because it is a novelty. Not many games model French. I think Comet Mission, the, the old one. No, it's the old Comet Mission. No, it's Overlord. Don't think France is modeled in, the, in them. Okay, yeah, let's skip it. Uh, I mean, we know what is coming. <laughs> There's no question. Vous avez de nouveaux ordres. Yeah, I mean, we can use this to check out formations. Where's the front line? Here. No. Here. We already saw the Germans are coming here. Yeah, this is the main battle zone. And yeah, let's check out the formation controls. If they are offering any good. But we can't use them right now, so start the battle. Yeah, you can loop make the yeah, let's try out the line. Something is happening. But I don't select it, everybody. Yeah, remember... Okay, can you double click? Yeah, double click is working, like in combat mission you can select a subunits. But it looks like there's a limitation um, tied to the interface, how many units you can select. Yeah. So it looks like you can't select bigger groups and something is impacting, but it seems this should work um, here. Yeah. Let's keep the squads together, what this is. That's also a reason why I don't like if every single soldier can sometimes become micromanagey and doesn't offer that much if every individual soldier is modeled. I really like the combat mission system with the teams because that's usually how soldiers operate. They operate in teams, not as sing single uh, single individuals. Yeah, and the cars can move forward. We can still uh, let's stress the the AI to see how it behaves. Can he? Can the AI get? It's not a serious playthrough. I just want to see how the AI behaves. But formation seems to work, at least to some extent. Not sure why these two soldiers are. Okay, is it now working? Yeah. And it's also cluttering, really cluttering the screen. 
Perhaps there's an option that you can group. Let's test this out. No. But this double click method is working rather good. At least it allows you some orderly gameplay. I hope this stays this way. Why is it going to free again? Or do I need to wait? Why is this guy moving? I guess he's moving into cover on its own. Yeah, what is a bit stupid is that this controls are always overwriting. Okay, but they are staying at least in relation to each other. So this might be our option to play like I do with double clicking the units, the officers or the squad leaders. Yeah, that's not even a squad. It's more like a team. Yeah, let's see what the tanks are doing. Are they? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of automatization going on in the units, which in the end make it worse, I think. This guy retreated for some reason, I guess, because he saw some superior tank. Looks like the Germans have a Panzer free, which might be a problem for some of those smaller tanks. Because he is only equipped with a 30, I mean, 30 millimeter should penetrate. It depends, of course, on the on the on the. Okay, 800 meters. Ah, uh, here penetration table. Oh, this is 500 meters, eight millimeters. Okay, but I like the information in the here. This reminds me of this um, interface mod for Comet Mission. So he couldn't penetrate himself. But they are fighting. I really like the map. Yeah, my friend, perhaps rotate. What do you think? At this tank, this is Hotchkiss, they are rather good. This little thing here, not sure, not an expert on French tanks. But looks like, at least from the barrel size, it looks like it should be quite formidable. I mean, those early German tanks, they... Yeah, let's... Um, is a hold position, perhaps? No, it's overwriting. Ah, there is some green light you can activate. Perhaps this is overwriting the AI. Because now it's grey, now it's green. Could be that it's overwriting. Yeah, let's move out one of the squads. I mean, difficult. Yeah, the terrain is rather abstracted. It is um, similar to a gravity team. The terrain is rather abstracted. But yeah, let's find some positions. Which also makes it oft harden for the infantry to fight properly. It's a, a issue that many games face that simply the infantry is often in a big disadvantage. Oh, we have two. Some guys arrived in the front. Interesting that they even survived that long. This guy got hit. Doesn't look properly, but interesting tanks, yeah. What is this? It's an obstacle remover, but...
Uh, can I change my self ammunition? Do I need to do this? I don't think so. Let's see what happens if I select HE. Do will he change himself? Or will he fire with HE? Vous avez de nouveaux ordres. Root out the advancing enemy, okay. Yeah, um, let's read the chat. Game is pretty, yeah, as at least for the, I think, taking the H into account, it still looks decent. I remember back in the days, a lot of people had issues with, because it was rather demanding. I mean, this game is really awesome, <laughs> yes. You can turn off the tank automatization, if I remember. Yeah, this would be great. I wonder if there is a guy to set up the game to play more like you used to. A guide? You mean... I mean, it is also a figuring out. I think it is rather similar. The control scheme is similar to combat mission. With the aircraft. Oh. This looks, this looks great. Coming back. Uh, is there a zoom key? But yeah, a lot of similarities with combat mission. That's interesting. I think uh, Theater of Voice also, I don't know the history about the game, but I can imagine that it is somewhat... Ooh, not bad. And it is also, isn't box spotting. You see this unit sees this guy here. He isn't, uh, at least, he, he. it's similar really to Combat Mission, I like it. It's uh, the complex spotting system, not the box spotting. But not sure if it is knowledge or line of sight only. It could be also line of sight. Let's move forward and see if he immediately get, if they immediately get red. I think it is really knowledge. Otherwise, it should be bright red by now. So they, these guys know about some infantry guys he doesn't know. I mean, you still can attack them. Because this is some sort of... In combat mission you can also basically attack with area target. But he, if you want to play with a house rule that a unit is not allowed to engage, I don't think he has knowledge of them or visual contact. Yeah, they even disappear. Okay, because they died. <laughs> That. Yeah, let's find out if there's some way to turn off this tank automatization. I know defend might help. Hold position, yeah. I mean, hold position is good. It would be great if there would be a toggle for everybody because this is somewhat micromanagey. But yeah, the tank models look decent not super detailed but ah tap is even what did I do no. ah enter I think enter I zoom to the unit uh, oh great camera that's basically the tank commander but I'm now locked to it yeah the wheels are d destroyed Let's see what happens. But why are you not fighting? Is your turret damaged? Mm. 
No, it is working. Why are you not firing on your own? Do I need... To, what is this here? Attack. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Area fire. Assault. Defend. Retreat. Yeah, I know that it was... Um, that it was on the Battlefront page, but is it made by Battlefront or is Battlefront only the publisher? Um, I think it that there was a that it is made by a Russian development team. I think, but I'm not sure. Don't don't quote me on that. But I think Battlefront was only the publisher, and in Russia the publisher was One C or Two C, this big Russian publisher. Or in Eastern countries, not sure, um, or different countries. There's also games that are pub have multi multi publishers. Could be that the retail version was made by those guys and whatever. But I think it's made by a Russian team. But could be wrong. Okay. Yeah, let's check out um, what somebody suggested to check out the German or the Soviet campaign. Yeah, let's only check out the OOBs and how how it feels. I won't I want to get to the next game. I don't want to do a four hours video. Yeah, what is difficulty level morale? You can also deactivate morale if you. I like this. I sometimes would also like something like this in combat mission. At least for single player, especially for those really huge. Uh, scenarios where you have, I don't know, 2,000 soldiers um, that you can deactivate some of the AI on the, yeah AI automatization that they run away from fire or something I mean on the other hand, it, it's a human behavior but okay, let's check out yeah, give me a tease some of those old school tanks, please and the problem is it's rather a small mi Oh, okay. I want to see all tanks. Give me that early T-34 with, so, with the mini turret. But I think it's already... It is not the complete early version. Yeah. There's even an earlier T-34 which had, I think, even a smaller turret. But yeah, gunner, commander, one person. Still, this this extremely cramped turret. Yeah, give me this thing. I remove the infantry. I want to see some tanks. And I think this game is also rather. I mean, sure, if you if you have infantry men with tank rifles or bazookas, might be different. But it's at least to me it seems the survivability of uh, infantry man is also this one of those games where it is rather low. They get rather low. Do we have all? No. Uh, the BT seven A is quite expensive it seems. Yeah, that's what is it what is the difference? Oh, yeah, 76 millimeter gun. But it looks like a Stummel, a short uh, close assault tank, infantry support tank. So I guess this is definitely better for anti tank purposes. What I like is the in individual soldiers with portraits, something like this would even make combat mission. That you really have guys and perhaps some experience. Especially in combat mission, because in the combat mission everything has a higher surveillability depending on how you command. But you have this feeling everything wants to stay alive. That's what I love about combat mission and what's so authentic. And if you would have even more RPG elements like, I don't know, skills, even if they don't matter, you know, even if it's a single guy that in, in, in a 100, 200 army, uh, 200 man army, nobody gives a, uh, gives a damn about how good you are driving, but you could role play yourself in a big army. You know, I sometimes do it on my streams. I assume the role of one guy and see if he can survive. Oh, no. Okay. 
Yeah, it was called Nepanimaya Pavoski. I had a disc. Multi turret tanks were slowly decommissioned after Winter War with Finland and USSR. Yeah, the multi turret tanks never be really proved, effect, um, at least in World War II or not. The concept never proved really. T 36 had quite good 45mm gun. The only thing that infantry is good at in theater of war is dying. Yeah, it, it, it feels. It, it, yes. It's also for a big gripe for me in, in gravity team tactics. It's, it, it has a lot of factors why this is often the case in, in war games, contrary to real, reality. I mean, infantry men were exposed, of course, but in most games, infantry is dying too quickly and too useless. And combat mission is one of those games that manages to make to to nail infantry really good every single infantry man can become a danger for your tank and that's the reason why you need to go for the combined arms approach like in reality you can't drive with your tank i don't know simply into well, into the woods or whatever way. somebody will come up and disable you and it's also hard to spot them simply if somebody is hiding in the woods you can bring your tank you won't see them and that's what combat mission mission is really managing other games are not and another aspect is obstructed terrain. This terrain is obstructed, you know, real terrain doesn't look flat like this. And this means the nuances you often have in combat mission, every single ditch in combat mission can protect the infantrymen from obser observation. And games like Glavi Team or Theater of War, where the terrain is rather obstructed, um, it turns out to be a disadvantage for the infantry. Okay, one, yes, S yeah, squat, almost uh, so far, something like a squat. And we are moving, uh, didn't pay attention, but I guess we would simply, yeah, let's check out the tanks and give some orders. Like I said, it's not a serious playthrough. I mean, we can move them forward. It seems the enemy will come from here. I like really this drag and drop here. Saves clicks. Feels really fluid. Yeah, would be really great to have some of the features broke over. Yeah, this here, look at this. This is really great. They sometimes stuck on trees. You need to, need to get around here. <laughs> Damn it, wait. Uh, too fat. Let's find another route. <laughs> yeah, okay, it isn't working that good. Damn it. Because they get stuck on every goddamn tree. Okay, yeah, forget it. Forget it. Uh, I get it. Uh, isn't it working? Ah, come on, you, you're kidding me. I won't move every single soldier over there. Ah, I found a way. Yes. Yeah, here, this looks good. I perhaps stay here in this building, so I want to see how the building system is, but it looks similar to Glavi team. Can they move into... Okay, and perhaps after setup. Oh, I think it's simply giving a bonus. I think in Gravity Team there's something. Uh, you can get into buildings, but it's not that super. Yeah, let's test something like this out. I want to see how infantry behaves in the woods. Uh, in the in the. Okay, it looks like, yeah, can't enter buildings, that's fine. Yeah. So, enemy contact. Their icons are sometimes really small, it's a way to make them bigger. Attack sector, what is this? Extend minimap camera projection, uh, show me. Ignore campaign loss, uh, that's great. So you're not booted out of campaign. Ah, here, keyboard motion. So you can set this. What was I saying that the VRC key is too fast? And now it's better. Yeah. 
it is working. There's not often games that have a sensitivity to the for keyboard. That's great. Yeah, game settings. So, what, no. okay. Even the interface looks similar. Not sure why these two boxes are here. I don't think this was really necessary. Can I disable this? This is really... I mean, you see that the engine is modeling this space. So is there really a real reason to make it? Or did I activate something? Uh, this is... was really not required. We could use this here. This information should be here, but yeah, it could be that it has something to do with resolution, that the UI has issues, issues with widescreen. Because back in the days, I don't think widescreen was that widespread when this was released. Is it raining or what was this? What are you doing? Did you notice something? Uh huh. Ah, here, look at this. Indeed. Um, yeah, that's. That's a T34. Yeah, updated definitely. The early one has re re uh, some absolute crazy little turret. Yeah, my f yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, it's not not that stupid. They are right in the open. But I think you find a good position here. Oh, oh, oh! He shot off your head like that. I, uh, I need to look for it. <laughs> yeah, I like the detail. <laughs> he got, got lost his head like I uh, penetrating you. It f doesn't seem like. But this doesn't look good. Hey, my friend, are you firing on that goddamn tank? Yes, no, no. Ah, okay, two tanks firing on you. Ah, is this thing working? Are we retreating? Let's retreat. Yeah, something happened to the loader. Okay. Uh, I think the engine is also toast. Uh, doesn't doesn't seem to work anymore. Yep, decrude, but it is still usable. Oh, uh, watch your friend. Yeah. Are the buildings? So there's a line of are the buildings? Yeah. Looks like they can't fire when there's a building. Yeah, that's 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 a bit. The the bi Okay. Yeah, is you are your trousers dry? I think so. Let's move into the battle. Yeah, this is a bit um, the buildings that you need to really micromanage them here, it's like this here. Oh, I don't know. This is too much for me. Okay, I think I saw enough. Let's check out the next game. Line of sight and line of fire, okay. Mm hmm.
Yeah, I will bring over the reshade stuff. I guess I will simply copy it. OpenGL I need, not with OpenGL DLL. Here. And what was the reshade profile called I used? So we can test. Yeah, here. And the reshade ini. Well, I don't need it. Uh, I don't think we need it. We only need those two stuff, things, and then we can copy paste. And reshade should work. In case they didn't change the engine. Yeah. Next, we will start with. Yeah. Let's uh, check out Africa. See, also installing some mod. Something is happening. It shouldn't take that long. Ah, oh, but wait. Perhaps I should use the not the Excel in the folder, but the Steam. Um, Because in games there is no mass use of infinite viewer and real life infinite viewers numbered in, in many millions, while tanks are used in rather limited numbers. Yeah, true, but also um, the, the the infantry is often under uh, under under modeled or the the capabilities. In a lot of games, there are simply often targets for the for the tanks and I think combat mission is doing a, a beautiful job of um, fixing this and shifting it more towards reality Ah, I forgot the effects folder. Yeah, um, I need to restart the game anyways. Uh, the reshade folder, of course, with the effects is missing. But we might need to re restart because of the graphic settings, so I can fix this. Yeah, looks like the same engine. Looks like they added some effects like HDR. And Soft Shadows AO. Was this even a thing back then? Ambient occlusion I don't think so could be that a patch added it or a mod Yeah, this folder I forgot.
Oh, now it's working. So there is another file that is required. Yeah, now it's working. Could be one of those any files. Okay, let's check the encyclopedia. Should be giving us an overview over the units. Ooh, the graphics look rather improved. I mean, uh, let's first run without reshade. But even without reshade, it looks good. Definitely see an improvement in the model fit quality. Yeah, let's activate everything they have. Okay, the Italians are here, the British, the German, and the US. Models look quite good. The M3. I would like to see some of those things in combat mission, especially those multi turret tanks and how they would behave. Interesting thing about the Crusader is the Crusader wasn't really a successful tank, but I think from the looks, it looks rather modern. It looks like a Cold War tank, except I don't know for the for the front that the spacing is. Yeah, this space here was, I think, uh, but yeah, it looks I think rather modern. Never made it really to Normandy, except for some special configurations like a A tank. But from the looks, okay. One million servers now was to be expected. Ah, Centaur, somebody mentioned it. It's an add-on. Okay, looks like there's some add-on built in. Might be a free add-on that they provided. Yeah, let's check this out. I guess this has something to do with enemy opposition and whatever morale settings. Yeah, and again, no serious playthrough, I just want to get a feel for the games, otherwise the video will become too long. Mm, this is normal. Ah, okay. Mm. Um, 
So we should work pretty good with Africa. I think I need to take a bit the, the bloom out, but other than that, I think it looks quite good. It's always the standard effects I use, and I'm happy with it. Clarity uh, is also good. Yeah, clarity is some rather good sharpness and giving some contrast, but uh, uh, intelligent contrast without making things too dark. And yeah, this is the ambient light that is a bit, but could also go for something cold, which is often giving out different tone. Oops. But I still think it's fine. It looks rather desert, like some, um, but too much. But for this, we can set the strength for down. Just don't know which one was it. Yeah, whatever. Okay. It uh, looks like this time, uh, look at this. Here, yeah. I think this is also a new addition to the, the second game. You can enter buildings, similar to combat mission, abstracted buildings with windows and doors. I guess they can fire out. Yeah, I won't do much. Simply uh, want to see how the AI will behave. If I see some differences, let's go continue. Uh, you have time controls and looks like, yeah, they have a facing in the building. I'm seeing already something. No. But I hear something. So this tank here. Yeah. Yeah, the interface, I like it. They removed some information. But I think you can still... Uh, okay, it's now like this. Why not? Uh, here action mode I guess this is I guess this is the AI, AI automatization it sounds like this action mode I disabled it for all units let's see if somebody drives around and use the time to check out the units Destroy the enemy is approaching. Okay, yeah, yeah, we will do. Can you open up a tank? Perhaps it's not required. Um, is a um, chat working? Can somebody write test? Or, because sometimes I think the app is not sure if I'm. Uh, the last message I'm seeing is crew dead. This is indeed the last message. The chat crashed. Uh, yeah, we'll restart. So, if there was something since crew dead, I might not re read it. At least it seems to me because that, that my chat, or perhaps not, I don't know. Yeah, something is coming. I'll check it out. What the hell? Yeah, the effects, uh, the graphics are definitely. Better and I think the sounds also might be better. I'm running 120 hertz. Oh, I see lagging, so 
The game is completely fluid, just the unit is somewhat. But you see the units aren't moving around anymore, so I guess this action mode fixed it. If you and the sounds are definitely better, it feels more authentic, the, the acoustic, as acoustics. Uh, still a mix, the mixing could be uh, different, but uh, this is simply settings. Yeah, let's check out the music in a second. So no music or what? Okay. No music for us. Yeah, you could, for example, get volume down and keep effects on high and yeah, figure it out and speech. I won't do it because it might otherwise make things too loud and I'm not sure if my microphone is tight to some, somewhat to it. Yeah, if you hover over the units, some little thing will appear with the armor. That's, yeah, the sound is definitely improved. I can also remove trees. Wait, did I press something? No. I just want to find is there a zoom key like in combat mission to get some of those great shots. There must be. Not? Come on, give me a zoom key. This is really important. I want to see the shots, how they come in and... No zoom key, are you, are you kidding me? A missed opportunity. Looks like no zoom key. Nef I never played those games. Are they simulations? Mm, yeah, depends on what you define simulation. I think they, you, they are not on the same level like Comet Mission. A tier of war, I wouldn't, wouldn't. And gravity teams might be more authentic, but it is among the more realistic games, yes. You have ballistics, characteristics of armor and whatever. It is not an arcade game like, I don't know, Company of Heroes. What the hell are you waiting for? He has he, why is his, is his visual so bad because of this tree here? Yeah, there's something, yeah, my friend, fire. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, look at this, there's individual spotting, like in combat mission. But it is sometimes, could be that there's some dust or whatever. 3D representation is not always true one-to-one uh, -one with the in-game modeling. But they are rather close. That's a bit not, shouldn't, shouldn't happen. And why are they coming with a fort? Is this guy down? <laughs> uh, yeah, remove his, no, deny his reverse wheel. Oh, look at this. That was a pretty good anim animation, one of the best bail bailout animations. Get this fat, fat, fat thing here. Yeah, okay, uh, the British attack is somewhat questionable. Yeah, why they are moving with the trucks right into enemy position? I mean, somebody, somebody set up this mission. Why? Why giving waypoints like this? It doesn't make sense. I don't think it's a stupid AI, it is a script. They are doing a script. Somebody set up this mission and perhaps it wasn't intended. 
this is yeah best smoke screen <laughs> they attacking from here laying down a smoke screen here good job it is ah, well, was it an ambush ah okay if it was an ambush okay and the visibility could be i wondered why he, they were so able so to get so close but i don't care Yeah, some of the models really look good. I would like to take them and bring them immediately to combat mission. Look at this truck. Look at this truck, I mean, really. Could bring it like... Uh, Sometimes I'm really ashamed. There are some games really with some, 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 some games of models. Look at this one. Really good, well made. Not bad, not bad. That's a scout car. What is this? German tanks. I mean, this could be something I could even... What? Who could <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Onofrio Petrelli. Petrelli, what what the heck happened to you? Is he Benito Mussolini, what? Artillery? Benito question questionolini, what happened to this guy? I guess they got hit yeah, holy shit. Yeah, um I don't think we need a CSI. This is artillery. Okay. Yeah, looks like. Yeah, I think this game, especially with this um, removing this, um, and the AI feels better in this game. Could even play this, you know, Africa. I mean, it's Africa mod for combat mission, but what are a bit, what um, is a bit uh, of a downside? The campaigns are presented rather. Rather not good. I mean, you have a small introduction te text and then you're simply thrown into missions. There should be a proper mission mission briefing. What is the situation? What is going on on the front? Um, stuff like this, I think, takes a minimal portion of time when designing something like this. You know, setting up a mission like this requires a lot of scripting, a lot of knowledge. And then you can't spare five minutes to write a proper briefing of it. I mean, come on. And it feels sometimes like a quick mission. Like some random generated stuff here. But if you would, I don't know, bring some. Yeah, you are Benito, question, Mussolini, whatever. And, and the, the British or the US are breaking through and etc. It is day X in year X. The front isn't looking good for us. We are fighting a desperate battle. Yeah, attenzione, here, attenzione, look, uh, god damn it, is, are they really staying true to their. Yeah, I guess so. Because I removed the action mode, right? Let's enable it. Are they doing something? Yeah, let's help them. Uh, I always press escape because uh, escape in combat mission is pause. What is rotating? Okay. What the hell? Where's rotate? Uh, one of the closest to CM you can buy on Steam, yeah definitely, between Company of Fears and CM, <laughs> yeah I know it's a wide range right? 
still it's 10 years old yeah definitely but um, I think sometimes it's interesting how little the graphics changed I don't f I mean sure we're running now some post-processing and whatever but I've once mentioned that a lot of emphasis in the last years was put on post-processing because it is easy to get your graphics somewhat up to date without investing too much yeah I'm looking for a rotation command but currently a bit yeah, let's run the game meanwhile what is are they doing it now on their own I don't think so what the hell no ah. what the hell are you doing my friend that, that, I guess I triggered this let's try is it like in Total War? Yeah, it is like in Total War. You see I have a rotation symbol and even a, a distance. Yeah, it is like in Total War. You need to hold the right mouse button and then release it. I like it. Wish something like this for a combat mission. Yeah. Why not fire? No line of sight, I guess, or no line of fire. Because of the goddamn stone, can it be? Votate cannone. So, you know, no, if you hit your Italian restaurant, if you need to say rotate the cannon, what you need to say, quite easy. Votate cannone. <laughs> What are you? Yeah, action mode. Or did I order this? Uh, it's interesting what the AI is doing. I mean, it's, uh, let's see what he's what he's planning. I mean, this is really sophisticated action mode. Simply without giving orders, they drive over the half of the map. Yeah, the AI. Ga and who plays this AI? Uh, Etigan here. Most shitty position. You can't, you, I don't know, rearrange it like this. Don't make it so complicated, my friends. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, we rocket science, please. <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 come on. <laughs> Put down that goddamn cannon and let's go. Yeah, and but I like that the buildings are added. This really feels somewhat like. And this tank is fighting pretty good. Pull down. Seems also to work. He's waiting in an ambush position. Uh, yeah, he disappeared, but he's somewhere here. Hit markers. I think the cannon is destroyed. Another hit marker. What are they firing? So the eight, eight T. Oh no, it's a T gun. Uh, look at this. The wall was re uh, removed. Yeah, really too bad that there is no zoom button. That you can't shorten the visual distance, like in photography, between. Really love this feature in Comet Mission. Whoa! Yeah, deny the reverse wheel. Good shot. Looks like somebody with a tank rifle hit him. But yeah, sure, against a scout car. 
But it feels better, it feels a, a little big improvement. It uh, from the I mean sure it's only a, a short play but from the sounds from so every single soldier he, he see pausing the game to remind me that I mean it's interesting feature yeah don't don't think that was a good idea my friends this is your action mode but it, it is interesting this 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 auto pause I mean you can deactivate it I'm pretty sure there's something in the settings but it is interesting yeah the action mode is but you can deactivate it it is not useful I don't know what he they planned look what they did got themselves absolutely in a bad position here Come on, turn your tank. I'm not turning. Turn your goddamn tank. Keep turning. Is, uh, what is firing on you, the skull car? You got hit. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Yeah, I really like it. Um, especially this. Looks like. They improved a lot on the on the on the first. Not sure. Can you standard set this action mode off? Because I don't see any use in this action mode. It is only so. It is a good idea to select all units in the beginning and remove it. I really don't see. It is basically AI control of units. It is not, I mean, you can give your own orders, but if you don't, they will do their stuff and you'll see what is coming out. Yeah, finish mission. The last offensive. Okay. And what I mean about the campaign, you have a pretty good introduction, even with some personal elements like somebody, Gerhard, here, this personal guys, that's always good, Gerhard. But then I think when you start, but yeah, it could be that um, I didn't finish any mission. I guess you get, yeah, but the order of battle system is in, in this again. Um, which I like, always gives a campaign a good feeling. I would like to have some a screen like this. It would be God sent in combat mission where you have a visual, visualization of your core force. The campaign system in combat mission is beautiful, but everything is hidden, hidden. Everything is hidden. A visualization would be absolutely beautiful. Okay, we have some upgrade Panzer Force. What is this? Okay. Uh, even some motorcycles.
But I'm still surprised that this is not a thing anymore. I mean, the first tier of war, yeah, not bad, but you, it is evident that it has issues. But this here feels rather competent if you. And you can finally select as much units as you want, it seems. That was in the first, at least without anything doing I was limited and here you can select and then simply press this and the AI shenanigans are off the rest is still and look at this I think there is it is it team buttons ah oh, no it's special weapons okay but yeah this, the squad management is still working and this time formation is sticking this was it's interesting the stuff that we mentioned I sometimes like to revisit games from from beginning to you mention some stuff then you play the second game and it is fixed like the formations that were not updating I mean, we can check it out is something like this working do I need to I guess I need to move out it's not updating immediately and let's check out the German tank models This don't look happy, but I I get I understand. This is really cool. Yeah. Oh, pretty good model. Even with decals. I mean, the game models hatches. We see that tank guys are hopping out just wonder can you open up the tank there's a button for it could be that there are buttons that are not shown on the interface and I think these are the group group groupings let's see if this yeah at least you can group your squads I would prefer to have fire teams as most little organizational element, but that's okay. I mean, with grouping or with this double click method, you can still have something. Let's see, can I give all a formation like, a, like this? Should work. And let's stress the AI. I think this is an engage mission. Let's do something. Let's assume we play combat mission. Hold fire. You are scouting. Okay, can't give waypoints right now. It seems only facings. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, well then. Yeah, you can still give multiple waypoints. Let's see if we can do some scouting. It's hard to see the waypoints. And you theoretically can, what some people also do in combat mission, you can dismount the scout vehicles and check for yourself. I mean, he's opening up. Is that by accident or? We have new Who's exploding? Tank? Okay, stop, stop, stop. Damn it. We are already in combat. Yeah, what also some the feeling which is a bit wonky is mission design in general. It is more casual. And already always in contact, not really much consideration. But yeah, of course, could be could be the case that something like, like this happens. But it is geared a bit more towards action. You can sense it, this complete game. Yeah, I mean, god damn it. Yeah. 
Herr Richard Fuchs. Why the hell are you opt up? Yeah, call it a ground attack aircraft. What I also like is uh, that you can see the aircraft. Yeah, this is also. Okay. Yeah, guys, do I need to see every single soldier dying? Don't make it so hard for me. There should be a button for this. A setting. I mean, hide buddies. I guess it is not a good setting, right? Nothing. No better graphics. Yeah, what is the setting? What is causing this pause? Do I really need to play with this? This is real time. Can I give orders here? No. That's a great screen. Okay, main menu. But it's really a decent game. Um, I mean, the, the issues is the. I don't see that much issues here. Some issue, I guess, immobilized. Ah, no, he lost the. Um ah, look at this. This is possible. You can decide for your own. Yeah. The wheel is. I guess, uh, suspension destroyed or something. Oh, whoa, whoa. AT gun. Yeah, sound, sound contact, I guess. This means sound or. Um, um, not a good contact. I even saw a project. Yeah, Kaufman happens. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Think exactly. That's not what you should do. You got them. Yeah, this rotation is somehow not working. Do I need to press? Yeah, this this pause. I think there must be a button for it. It's oh, damn it, god damn it! You reset your camera. Fuck off, man! So reset three times your camera to give an order and um, three four times you are, I think there must be a setting no no way they left this in the, in the game like this okay yeah AT guns are threat here like in reality as well okay let's check out something else looks lit <laughs> smart for game thanks for thanks fa thank you for revisiting this I forgot I had it I have old CM games, but haven't got any of the new engine games after Shock Force 1. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, let's visit the next game. But again, is this 
yeah, I think there must be a hotkey or something for this post-game stuff. Otherwise, it will make you really hurt if you lose units. <laughs> Could be... Yeah, controllers. Auto pickup. Can you pick up weapons? I guess support weapons like in Man of War. I think the Sasa has a lot of similarities from the animations. Could could it be that the guys that worked on this might be working on Man of, of War? Something there is some similarity in the visuals and in the way how animations play, like infantry moves. It has some of this Yeah, and same for Gravity Team. So I don't know the Russian, the games made those war games made by Russian developers. They share some similarities, but I can't pinpoint it. Okay, next Kursk. This should be somebody mentioned. This is the best. We will see. Shared assets, same publisher. Yeah, could be, could be. Somebody mentioned that a lot of the tanks are in Man of War. Because I guess they all are, yeah, one C published, published by this guy, so it makes sense that they are sharing. Or at least selling, I don't know. What. Okay. Battle for Khan? What? what? I guess this was some add-on. So we should running. Yeah. yeah, ambient occlusion, interesting. I mean, I can't remember that this was a thing back then. What is for soft shadows? Gone. Or is it cell shading? Copy that what there are some some I don't know copyright issues uh, or some license issues with the music they had to remove it because uh, doesn't the, the or they simply didn't add music I mean why not if if, if the, you know before you add shitty music perhaps add no music I mean why why the effort if it's not good. Attack top part, middle part, bottom part. Okay, interesting. You can even micromanage the yeah, action mode is again here in in the game. Smart pause. I guess this might be the stuff we have seen. Compatibility mode. What 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 for compatibility? Okay. Maximal hit what hit vectors per unit. Hit vectors, hit, hit vectors minimal caliber. What? Give me a million. I want to see ricochets. Like, what? What the hell is the setting? Maximal ricochets per unit. Huh? I want to have million hit vectors. I want to give me ballistics. What the hell is? Is there even a limitation to this number here? Ninety nine. Hundred, yeah. I I want to have I want I want to do rocket science or ballistics, please. It sounds like a simulation setting. I don't think my. I mean, back in the days, perhaps some toasters couldn't handle it, but let's, yeah, let's see if we can handle it. As, oh. Hit vectors minimal caliber. Wait, minimal caliber hit vector. This is is this a reverse setting? Do I need to set this to zero? I guess. Ah, oh, damn it! This. I mean, minimal caliber. It for me it uh, translates like, what minimum caliber is receiving some ballistics simulation. 
So could imagine this is a uh, better to do it like this. One millimeter. This. Yeah, the best one. I have Korsk and Kor. It's a DLC. Oh, I get it. Korsk was a base game and was a DLC. This link has details about setting up when the game powers. This link has details. Ah, okay. Link, I guess, could be... I don't see the link. I could be that um, on YouTube. There might be... It is... Um, if you post links or something like this, the YouTube sometimes the YouTube system blocks the message in order to prevent some guys, I don't know, spamming some uh, pornpix.net or whatever. Wargamechicks.whatever. Because I don't see the message and um, those messages I don't see in the, in the smartphone app for some reason. Otherwise I could authorize them. But yeah, YouTube app was thinking, nah, don't inform the stream about it. Yeah, detail, detail is always good. Show blood, nah, blood not. Um, I have a child friendly stream here. Uh, just joking. And yeah, smart pause. I guess this guy could, I think this is the setting when something explodes. When Günther is dying or whatever, that this might be pause for you. So I will keep it off. I don't need... I, I like it. I mean, but you see it can become over the top. Okay, restart the game. And you see there's user campaigns. I could imagine there are, especially in the Russian community perhaps, there are a lot of mods would be a good idea if you get this game and you can get it really cheap. And um, yeah, it would be a good idea to check out the Russian community, perhaps a good campaigns or whatever. If somebody knows a really immersive campaign with good story, let me know, because I'm looking for, for the stuff. I also have Comet Mission Barbarossa there. GOG version, but I, there are millions, million of campaigns that I'm only looking for quality stuff. I only will play campaigns that are really good. And some story like like in Kampfgruppe Schroff or in what did we play as a good story? Yeah, Captain Stevens Chronicles. Stuff like this, you know. Okay, multiplayer. There, of course, let's check um, who is playing. Eight players on one map. Oh, how is this working? But yeah, local should work. I mean, if you do a direct IP stuff or something, I could imagine. It. Yeah, this yeah, for this stuff you don't need a a, a, a master server. It should still work and LAN. Of course, as well. So, if you want to play this, try it out. Tutorial mode. Okay, I won't check it out. Uh, encyclopedia. Yeah, let's check the, it out for the units. Okay. Yeah, BR10, also not often seen in games. And the models look look at the tiger. Pretty good model. For it, for if you imagine this is vanilla. Really detailed. King Tiger with a Porsche turret. And I have both They're both called B, like Bertha. And I was thinking one with the, the different turrets set A and B, but I don't know. The turrets look different a bit. Yeah, de definitely different. So, and 
uh, usual suspects. Great combo. I really got the uh, combat mission would have some some way uh, to inject new vehicles with their stats. This would be uh, so. Yeah, a lot of Panzer versions, always good. Churchill's T70, T60. The Challenger with the, with the, with the, with the 76 millimeter, right? Yeah. Uh, well, seldom tank. It's also Normandy. Not often seen, I never played with it. I, I didn't knew that it existed in Normandy. Typical combat mission. After four years of five years of whatever, whatever you find out, there is a vehicle because um, commission is a lot of vehicles, but it is could, can can be hard to find a mission that is portraying them. They even have T thirty four versions planned. I think has is a factory planned. Could be a word for factory because. Factories might produce some slight different air yeah, factory. And this is crazy. This is really good detail here, even the factory models. Can't I don't know any game that ever got into this detail when it comes to T-34s. Bloomberg, Elephant, at this thing, this is, I had it in, in Normandy, I think, uh, Normandy there's nothing that can penetrate it frontally, is there anything? I mean, do the you, Western forces have anything that can penetrate frontally a Yak Panther from, but they got them can destroy your gun, as always. But other than that, this thing, you, you can park it somewhere on the road in a narrow and 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 simply have breakfast whatever come back and it is still there this with this slope i mean sure if you fire from perhaps from uphill but with this slope this is absolute brutal front armor craziness there's only this what is it the jagd tiger which is even was it This one tank destroyer that is even that is simply I don't know can survive a nuke frontally. Is it a Jagd Panther or also even a Jagd Tiger, which was even stronger? That's in combat mission, but not often seen. Okay, yeah. Okay, add-on campaign. Yeah, let's check out the Soviets this time. Ooh. Ooh. The crushing blow. Ah, damn it. Yeah, wait, we will check it out again. The crushing blow of the German army at Kharkov in March of 1943 resulted in a large pocket of Soviet land surrounded by German positions. The Red Army had no choice but to fortify their position. A total of eight defensive lines were organized in the region, some of which exceeded 300 kilometers in length. Civilians worked alongside soldiers to help dig a total of 5,000 kilometers in trenches, anti-tank ditches, and escarpments. Key routes were mined with a density of approximately 1,500 mines per square kilometer. In the rears, the Soviets worked tirelessly to provide their fellow countrymen on the front lines with a constant supply of provisions, ammunition, and equipment. From the period of April through June, the Southwestern Front received over 5,000 tanks, 9,000 heavy guns, and 1,500 aircraft. The Central Front, commanded by Army General Konstantin Rokossovsky, was tasked with the defense of the northern face of the Kursk salient, while the Voronezh Front, commanded by Army General Nikolai Batutin, was deployed to the southern face. The steppe front, under the command of General Ivan Konev, waited in reserve at the rear. The fronts were coordinated from Stavka by Georgi Zukov and Alexander Vasilevsky, marshals of the Soviet Union. 
On July 4, 1943, at 4 o'clock p.m., a German force made up of two infantry, two tank, and one motorized division launched an attack on the outpost of the 6th Army Guard of the Foreignish Front. The ensuing battle lasted well into the night. Having occupied some of the region's commanding hills, German main forces were soon on the front lines, ready for the assault. Yeah, interesting. Last game we played, we were criticizing that the campaigns are not presented that immersive and boom, campaign intro. It's inter really interesting to see the, the progression of this project. Ah, do I need to select it myself? Ah, okay. I guess if you do, do, do nothing, the default one is selected. Yeah, I guess it's Kursk. So, a lot of this guns. Infantry gun. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Dishkas. Always welcome. Ooh, this is a great big OOB, but still limited to. So there are no no real big battles in this game if you are limited always to what is it? Twenty-two units or what? Huh. Eighteen. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with it. You won't have access. Probably removed, simple search will get it for you. What you're talking about? The music or. Ah, the, the link, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, I guess the, the YouTube system is removing it from. If you post. Uh, links into our live stream it requires authorization of the streamer normally in uh, in a pc browser i see do you want to authorize this for some reason youtube removed this function from the mobile phone app you know do not over text smartphone users otherwise they might explode but yeah and that's that's really annoying because some people might write even if you write something like damn or shit it might get flagged and I don't see it, absolutely don't see it in the smartphone app. So there could be a lot of comments that are cussing and I will never will, will see it. So try to prevent writing something with cussing or links or whatever, because otherwise I might not see it. Yeah. Everything needs to be child friendly nowadays, you know, otherwise somebody could be traumatized by reading them. <coughs> By reading, I don't know, Suka Bled. In real life, the, yeah, the, the, the Jagd Panthers, right? Yeah, I can imagine. Because the front armor is. If you park that thing somewhere in a good position, I mean, sure, the gun systems, the gun mountings is, are always exposed. And now you never want to be. I mean, the graphics are so. Is this is this the Sklavi team now? This looks really similar to Sklavi team somewhat. Yeah.
Yeah, I don't know what the guys are talking about. Those frame problems should kind of can be system dependent, but I tell you, I've read so much stupid. Um, I mean, everybody of you, uh, it's not uh, Steam reviews are uh, really taken always as a grain of salt. I just even read a re review where somebody was claiming a game destroyed its PC or its motherboard. Sure. Uh, next, you hear, I don't know, a video game destroyed a relationship. But, I mean, that might be possible. I think some World of Warcraft players or whatever managed this. So this would be even not that. Okay. Yeah. My friend, what is this here? Why they are yellow? The AI commanded. Is this uh, the friend, the the neighboring? Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, this uh, looks like. That's also I like. I would like to see in, in other games that you have in combat mission that they might expand it. That a scenario designer might have a force that is. Elliot, not under player control, and receives their own waypoints. So you can, I don't know, participate in a bigger battle or need to protect something like this. Okay. Yeah, first, the camera hit is rather strange. I can't zoom out. But this time, you can give orders from this tactical map. The problem is this tactical map is really... I mean, you can play it like this. You could play it like like uh, like one of those games, which is not that bad. I mean, some might be interested in playing it like this. Um, you can't, it seems, shift the camera position, which I, I would like to have a slight angle. And yeah, the sound is... Let's get some music. Uh, it's like in a church here. Yeah? Yeah, but I think they removed some of the hate for, of the camera from the other games, at least it feels so. Which is annoying because I, I want to have all units and I need to get in a st strange position to get this done. Yeah, I removed the action mode. I mean, we could check out the action mode, but I don't expect really to come anything because there's no AI in, in no game that can really replace a human being. A, Always is sooner or later they will do stupid stuff. Smoke screen, okay. So infantry can smoke, it seems. I think that could be new. And we might issue a defend order. I think the terrain, I mean, sure, it can be by, by, by accident, but it really feels like gravity. Uh, could be the, I mean, could also share some engine similarities, who knows. Okay. But interesting that it is running on OpenGL. I'm pretty sure gravity is running Direct3D, really, Direct, DirectX, but didn't check it out. In this game, you can call off map artillery and Asterix. Okay. Battle size looks a bit bigger than in previous parts. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. Especially with the uh, allies units coming into play. Yeah. Yeah, you don't look happy. I get it. Yes, Pokotny. Yes, Tavalish Kapitan. I want to hear, not... Okay. Yeah, but the I mean, imagine this game is what old? Do I even run reshade? Yeah, okay. Yeah, reshade is, of course, at least for my eyes, it makes... But it is a proof that modern gaming, I tell you, a lot of engines don't change that much. They really... Post-processing is the cheapest way to achieve graphics quality. 
because it is not dependent on your assets. It's post-processing. You can apply it simply and don't need to do find some high resolution. So, you know, doing complex models requires more time. Doing higher textures, better textures requires time. Applying post-processing is simply, you know, every en modern engine can has uh, can simply apply FXR or whatever filters. Yeah, it looks like a prepara uh, preparation strike. Uh, buildings getting destroyed, definitely. Something is happening here. Looks like an infantry attack with tank support. Yeah, effects are better. I heard some of this. Uh, is this is this um, is it in the combat mission sound mod? I don't know. Some of this, some of the stuff is uh, fam familiar. Yeah, it looks like the game is not pausing anymore. Interesting. You, you see, it is not by standard on. Uh, every critic point we are applying is uh, fixed in the next part. That's really in interesting to notice. Yeah, those AT guns are really not doing a good job here. What the f... Are you my guys? What the f... Nah, you are not my guys, right? Ah, damn it. No, no, this is... Uh, um, wait, why they are blue now? Uh, did I take command of them or what? Jesus Christ, I did. Yeah. Too late, I guess. Yeah, they are not crewing it. Get inside, come on. What the heck are you doing? Get him. What the... Jesus Christ. Yeah, don't mind the tank, everything. It's just a tank passing by. Keep firing. Ah, these guys, yeah, you see what the problem is? They are on action mode. I I didn't know that we will take command of them. Yeah, and the action mode are screwed. Yeah, let's restart the battle. I'll... Oh, let's start another campaign. Yeah, this action mode is really screwing up a lot. I think I know that this looks uh, familiar. Somebody saw this. In the spring of 1943, German High Command developed a strategic offensive codenamed Operation Citadel. Okay, um, I was, uh, it's good that it is in the game. I will skip it simply because I want to move on. You see that little squad, that's, that's how you call air support, okay. What you on about terrain abstracted in Glavi team? Yeah, the... Yeah, completely... Um, I am completely, I wouldn't say. What I mean is that every single ditch is, is not presented. I mean, if you go out into the fields, the terrain isn't that smooth, it's, um, that's what I mean with abstracted. Combat mission which has abstracted terrain, you're mixing the two games. Okay, if you say so. 
Sie haben neue Befehle. Okay. Yeah, first remove the action mode. Because I think this is only screwing things up. Let's check out the units, close. Sie haben neue Befehle. Yeah, I mean, interesting. The quality is really good. Really good model quality. For a game of this age. Let's see how the movement is. Yeah, but it's definitely bigger in unit size, uh, I think, as well. Let's see how the formation is staying. Now, for some reason, are they. Yeah, um, it is switching to re in relation. So you can define a formation, and then it switches to this symbol, which simply means they will stay in the relation. Yeah, let's give a waypoint a bit more complicated. But, uh, okay. Let's see how the AI behaves. What's this heavy weapons? Ah, tank destroyer, okay. This is sticking. Motor vehicles or motor half tracks. Yeah, it looks like the the way uh, the the pathfinding is, is I mean not comparable to the first game where they did some rather silly stuff it seems to work pretty good sure if you would go for something complicated but um, normally you, you want simply i i recommend it for most games stick either use some functions like linking waypoints with shift in order to not stress the ai but it seems to be definitely improved i'm wondering was korea i mean korea was a, the newest title right korea was tiered of war free I have good hopes for this game because it is, I think, the only. I mean, sure, there's, there's war game, escalation or the what is the biggest upgrade on it? I think it is um, Red Dragon, which I think is also modeling to some extent Korea, the Korean War. Not sure if there's a campaign for it.
And yeah, sure, it is not a high fidelity war game. It is, but it is, isn't arcade either. It is, yeah, like Steel Division 2, it is semi realistic or whatever you want to call it. But other than that, I don't know any game that has real time on the Korean War era. I mean, Red Dragon, I'm not sure what the earliest campaigns are, but I think there are campaigns that are in the 50s. Okay, let's send out a scout. See how the spotting works. I mean, you can even get one guy and lie him down, as I remember. Or did they remove this from here? The terrain is really beautiful, even for um, modern days, even without reshade. Yeah, I think there might be some stuff that is on hotkeys right now, uh, rather than... Too bad that in World War II war games, German side don't have a trophy Soviet tank and we have German. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you can do it. You can do it. For example, I played a campaign in combat mission, um, the Courage Conquest, or what is it called? The Final Blitzkrieg US vanilla campaign where you are facing a German Sherman. German Sherman. Problem is nobody is using it somehow because could be because of the tank crew. But I would also like to see more Beutepanzer. But in Theater of War, at least in the first one, I guess it is because of the mod. The first one seems to come with a mod. There are a lot of Beutepanzer or capture tanks. And Gravity Team also might have. If I remember, there were also um, in Gravity Team there were also capture tanks. Or at least you can set it up this way. Red Dragon here is the last one, exactly. Red Dragon is basically the the thing that comes with the most stuff. I mean, the little evolutions war game. What was the second one? Um, Airland Battle, right? Yeah, and then Red Dragon. The campaigns are different, but the units are basically evolving. The timelines from early Cold War up to the 90s or something. I think even a T90 you can find in, in there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to lay down. I mean, what could be a crouch like C? No. Perhaps I removed it because it was too micromanagey. On the other hand, it would be a good idea right now. But yeah, I mean, uh, we will check out now the next game and simply get into combat. Just want to see if you can play this game also in some really realistic fashion, ca cautiously, and this makes sense. But I imagine you can. Yeah, and this buttons here you mentioned about the air attack and artillery attack. Amount of points, okay. And yeah, my friend, I think it's it's best to stop ah, the escape m muzzle memory. Yeah, I press what the didn't press anything. Come on, get down. <laughs> there must be a button for. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a button for stance control. Sneak. Is it this? Oh, that was pre pretty sneaky. Ah, now it's working. Or oh, did he react? Okay, yeah, too late. Yeah, and he didn't even saw, but somebody noticed it. But yeah, similar to. Uh, could be a acoustic contact or not a good. There's an AT gun. 
Achtung, Gefecht. Did he fire? I think so. Yep. I think you can even see the projectors, uh, but like they pause right in the Come on, this is not firing. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Takes so long. Detail. Can zoom in. Darf selbst der Zoom Button this time. It's a half track. Yeah, you see our marker here. Quite effective the mortars here in the game. Against entrenched enemy. But I mean, yeah, it also hit right into the trench. But here as well. Could be that because he has no line of sight, the fire is rather imprecise. He can't zero in because he's not seeing anything. Simply firing by guessing. So it might be luck if he hit the spot or not. It'd be interesting if you can dismount the mortar. Not to get into a concealed position. But yeah, the terrain is difficult to utilize, not a lot of features. Yeah, let's do a tank charge and then we will get into Korea. Normally you don't, sh shouldn't do this when there's a AT gun con waiting for you, but yeah, just for the, for the lols. Somebody was killed in action. Why is it? Was it Ah Ingo Bush? Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, I've always wondered why there's no blood in combat mission. I mean, the game is rather brutal in its depiction it's one of the few games that is capturing the brutality of warfare quite good not in a not in a um, visceral not in a bloody way i mean from the impressions from the acoustics and everything it's not only about flying flying legs and blood what is making a battlefield brutal but in this, I mean, there's a mod where you can remove the red cross against a blood pile. Yeah, it looks like it's a deliberate design choice. Uh, AT guns, welcome to the Eastern Front. Welcome to Korsk. 
I mean, the Panthers should be immune against the 76ers uh, this free. Except the, the only gun that could do harm to them at this distance to the Panther and the Tiger. Yeah, this looks great. I uh, want to see it again. Please fire. Uh, oh, did you see the. Uh, damn it. Yeah, muzzle memory. I'm trying. But really like um, how this. The visuals. Yeah, you should. Can you rotate? Also the rotation here? Yeah, this is dangerous. The Panther is endangered. Could receive a flank shot this year. But yeah, the ballistics look great in this game. The how oh, the shell is moving through the air. Yeah, the speed, the velocity looks good. The this three was called by the Germans a uh, rush boom because um, you are often it's. it's it's no, not only true for the for the ZIS-3, it's true for basically all weapon systems of uh, similar fashion. First, especially when they round past you, as in general, if something high, if a high velocity projector is passing you, you often hear a sharp noise, which, which sounds like tsh, like a like a what like a whip. And it, this is, can be different depending on the speed, caliber, and etc. And for the ZIS-3, it was dubbed a watch. And because it was a high velocity round, it required some time for the noise of the muzzle to reach the, your ears. And with some latency, you heard the boom, which was the, the muzzle noise. Of the weapons platform of the ZIS-3, but it's also true for all weapons. Also true for infantry small arms fire. And the bigger the distance, the the, the greater the distance, the bigger the gap. Uh, usually, because of the physics of uh, of acoustic. Yeah, let's see, is the Panther somewhat damaged? Oh, looks fine. Yeah, really great models. Yeah, the others need to watch out, but... Yeah, this could be dangerous. Yeah, he got damaged. Yeah, the track, he's detracted. Good modeling, because a flank shot like this uh, from a ZIS-3 can definitely take out a Panther. The flanks on the Panther, re this tank is designed for frontal armor protection. Well, yeah, uh, what? Um, at Oh, a lot of ta messages. Clavi team, or Clavi team, it is the last one. Or Clavi team tactics, Mios from Tank War for Tunisia 43. I have captured things too. Ah, yeah, good to know. Yes. Korea is worst. I think no is so <laughs> What? The last is three? Yeah, it could be because I think it killed the franchise, right? I mean, Theater of War was then. Could imagine that they then went went to other projects like I don't know, Gravity, Man of War, whatever. Ah, firing without line of sight. No such thing in Gravity. Uh, you mean the mortar mortar car? Yeah, this there is some some abstraction here in Theater of War. It's not on the same level like um, Gravity teams and Comet mission. Definitely not. Point of Attack 2 was not a war game, but it is old and graphics at primitive. Point of Attack 2, POA 2, is what, uh, what what style was it again? About what was this game? I remember the name. Was it a hex bay? Yeah, I, they can get trap shopped. There is a hit view under some key. Hit view? Really? I want to see it. 
pit view. Viewer, well, yeah, sound, sp sound speed is slower than speed of high velocity projects, exactly, yeah. And that's why you hear the boom later. And um, but it is true for all weapons. I mean, uh, all also other AT guns produce this. It might be not a rutsch boom, or the Germans wouldn't say rutsch boom. They might to other weapons they might say peitsch boom or something. It um, depends on the projector and the speed. It sounds different. For example, small arms often hear, uh, sound like firecrackers if they pass you, and then you know it's really a problem. You have a problem if you hear the firecrackers. I mean, really, you have a real problem if you feel the sensation. You can feel stuff in. Uh, if something passes high velocity, you feel it. Then you really know you have a problem. It feels like I don't know, like some like wind mixed with some sort of vibration and buzz. And this is then it was really close. Link camera to unit. Move camera to signal source. Could it be this? Signal source. Okay. Hmm. Signal source. What is a signal source? Uh, sounds, uh, sounds like radio. But yeah, this this uh, the, and some games have a proper sound modeling going on. I made a tutorial about it in Combat Mission, where um, this information was also used to judge the distance to guns. When you, it is used since since the old days for artillery ranging and whatever. Because the speed of sound, it has some. It has some uh, fl fluctuations uh, due to temperature, but it's basically 340, 340 in, in our in our planetary conditions, plus minus temperature. Very really easy formula, and then you can guess by the sound, the distance. And yeah, the really, uh, the lightning, the the um, yeah, the lightning in this game is. Not bad. And you see they really have issues with AT guns. I mean, good, this thing is taken out. But I, we are constantly under fire. Or are we firing? Yeah, we are still getting fired upon, right? Yeah. And it looks like they got their AT guns quite right. In a lot of games, AT guns are also rather useless because they are spotted way too fast. A good concealed AT gun can give you a trouble for a complete, complete um, morning. I, I read accounts when the Soviets were absolutely crazy with their AT gun placement. They even placed AT guns in the trees. They designed platforms. And race the AT guns into the trees. I mean, imagine you. This, this, uh, this, this is really um, this thing. They, they, they wait a lot. You need to carry the ammo up, and it must be a stable weapons platform. You know, it must be even. Otherwise, zeroing might not work correctly. And yeah, they raced some of the AT guns into the trees, in order, because it, nobody expected them like there. There. Okay, now the best <laughs> of all. Um, can it really be that bad? Come on, let's be optimistic. Can't be. I have, I have good hopes here for Korea. You had any of your grandfather's fight in World War One or World War Two? I know about World War Two. Yes, there was some participation, and I had all. Ah, okay. 
Well, I had one in Yugoslavian Yugoslav parties and not really sure about World War One though. When you finish a scenario, you have hit message messages on the tank. Ah, so, ah, damn it! I should have checked this out. Is it similar to Glavi team tactics with lines and whatever? Or? Because I really like the system in Glavi team with um, projector, or even in, in at mine, it's the same engine. Uh, what is the tank? I, I still play it. For me, it's the best World War Two tank battle game, based on the Glavi team's engine, or based on their game. What was the game called? Uh, Kharkov SDA mod 3.4 it's extremely difficult to get but if you get it it's uh, for me current best World War 2 tank simulator but yeah it requires a lot of uh, a lot of willpower to get it I know there's tank crew EL2 but it's still I mean it requires time I it is even higher in the fidelity because it is modeling interiors, everything. But yeah, the content of SDA 3.4, even when it's not super fully 100% simulator level, historical units that you yeah, always sounds good. Ah, again, this setting here. Yeah, I'm not sure if I said this correctly, but I mean max and minimal caliber. What is this compatibility mode? Perhaps that's the reason why this game is so rated so bad. My ones two were in infantry, one as infantryman and second as AT soldier in Red Guard unit. Third was tankman. Ah, oh, okay. Great information. The worst one, infantry here, doesn't matter at all. You can go tanks only and win. Uh, you mean the game? Any details on your grant related to effect and such infantry? Are you uh, talking to me or somebody in the chat? True, Soviet snipers used extreme camo measures too, like throwing. Yeah, they also were quite creative. Had much better optics and it was really hard to fight on distance against them. Can imagine. Army cook. Adopt cook will get order on or the Red Star. So if question wasn't addressed to me. Yeah, this game sucks. Ah, come on, uh, be optimistic. I have perhaps uh, this was only on. Re I remember it as well. I, this game I played, and it stayed. I think one day on my hard drive. So something I remember something with the AI was absolutely, absolutely um, despising. But yeah, campaign generator. Oh, okay, campaigns. Yeah, of course we will play only the. Um, the only true way of side uh, North Korea. Let's check it out. North Korea. Did somebody of you see the, this North Korean? I mean, it's already old, but this North Korean um, propaganda video they made, I don't know, three, four years ago. This, this reverse, those graphic effects and everything. I was impressed. Um, definitely was impressed. Ooh. Uh, dynamic campaign. 
I can't remember this stuff. What's this? Yeah, I mean, it's. I don't know. Um, is it the same stuff? I guess so. Okay. Yeah, a lot of choices here. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> left, right, left, right. This is, but I can. Ah, okay. Do I need to keep them? Or can I deploy them right now? Ah, okay. There's only room for one unit. Or is it only one battle group per turn? But they can't invade. Okay, makes sense. They first need to deploy and to organize. Yeah, let's move out. I mean, man, look at this. And add some, I guess, EL10. Yeah, you're always welcome. What? Oh, damn it. Do I need to attach it beforehand? Ah, they already have two things attached. These are like attachments. Yeah, okay, go. Are you kidding me? Did I waste a turn? Uh, okay. No problem. What is it, campaign generator? And we want to check out the encyclopedia first. What? My sound is crackling. Okay. Is it better now? Only the... The campaign map is cool, that's it. Can go... Praise Kim Song. <laughs> If only they would add dynamic campaigns to the previous games, the series wouldn't end on Korea. This is... Okay. What is different here from the other campaign? Whatever, let's um, check first the encyclopedia, what is there for interesting toys. I mean, can't, can't the Glavi team guys get the assets and do a redo a game with this, this assets? So I really have some cool tanks here. A ES3, great. Not often seen. To know that it was in service in Korea. I think only a few of them saw World War II. So it was coming into service rather late. It wasn't. They add, add to like, okay. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, if they perhaps they are not present on the on the campaign, I I don't care if they have fictional units there that were weren't present there. I think it sometimes even over the top. I think in combat mission I've heard they removed units because they found out that they weren't present there. 
which I think, God damn it, why remove them? I don't know. Put them into the editor or perhaps somebody requires them for, for its fictional campaign. And simply keep the historical campaigns historical. And Yeah, I remember there was something with air units with helos. They were they were praised and uh, get. Uh, remember back then they were praised because you could do something with them, fly around and deploy marines. It's this beautiful helo. It's this really sexy double decker helo. Okay. It is uh, music. Some Hans Zimmer Theater of War Free soundtrack. Oh, okay, I removed for some reason. They removed the music, but on the other hand, fixed everything. Let's see. Okay, let's get Korea, and next we will invade. US, like in what? What game was it where the no, Koreans are invading US? Ho homeland, right? I mean, the first first wasn't that bad. It had some disturbing scenes. It was rather memorable. I think the second one was then some of this shoot around without thinking much. My, the first one wasn't either a smart shooter, it was simply this Call of Duty style showing you disturbing cutscenes and then mowing people down. <laughs> but better than nothing, you know. Okay, yeah, deploy uh, the mech, mech regiment. Can we deploy right into the into Washington now? Good. Oh, wait, I can deploy a unit here as well. I get a tank regiment. Okay. Ah, oh, you can build your own divisions or units. That's interesting. And how do you buy this stuff? I guess with some money. Yeah, you see, for example, the the. ES3 is not present here. At least could be that it has something to do with state, but and the ES2 is also not present. Not sure that the Koreans have I only know that the Koreans used the T34. Was the ES2 in service in the Korean War? Could be. I mean, I don't know that much. That's quite aggressive move here. I just deployed my friend. Give me some time. <laughs> <What the hell? laughs> okay. Ah, it's an infantry division. Okay, but I guess it's heavy tank support. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying there were no ES3 in Korean War. Thick, thick boy. <laughs> yes. Homeland. Ah, homeland. Uh, homeland was exactly home front. Yeah, home front. Homeland security. Ah, now I can't do this. Molokka doesn't fuck around, boy. Why can I? So, why could I authorize this message? Strange. Looks like any big budget game nowadays was ridiculously propagandish and in what in what way in in US favor way or I guess so yeah this system is similar to um, it looks as a similar from the style but I think the game was released later war game it looks similar to the war game to the cold war war games you have bigger formations fighting with each other but you still need to 
get units out of this. So every formation might fight several battles until depleted or not. Yeah, looks good to me. It's started the most realistic. In both ways, yeah, I don't know. I think it was super realistic how um, North Korea arms arms program, and then this surprise attack. Yeah, but I liked it. It was quite refreshing. I mean, sure, yeah, it uh, get it. It was, uh, of course, uh, demonizing. But I mean, it's 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 a game. Uh, it's always. No matter which game you make, I mean, I would have, uh, I would like to have more games that are because the reality is often gray, not only black and white. The reality is gray, especially in modern warfare, and Syria is the best example for it. I had big hopes for the for the uh, modern warfare for the new one because they were stating everywhere, yeah, we will go, we will show the truth of warfare and gray and. Etc. And yeah, to some extent they did it. I have the campaign on my channel, but in the end it also was some more, I don't know. I guess some producer came over. It it feels like the game was designed differently and then some producer came over from, what is it, THQ or Blizzard or whatever and said, guys, we need more patriotism or whatever. We need more black and white. Please don't overtax our customers with too complex, too multi-layered problems. Please, bad guys, good guys, don't make it too complicated. Okay. Yeah, they are ready here to move out. I, mean, I don't see that much of a difference. What can they, can it be re... I mean, the engine is still the same. If Kursk was a pretty good game, how the hell can this be that bad. Is it really the balancing is so off? It didn't change that much here, I think. But I remember I played it and it was, I remember even this mission, I think. Yeah, I remember I got wasted here. It is a really good feature. I think it's also in Klavi teams, you can also drag and drop stuff. It's pretty good. Pretty convenient. Okay, let's hit start and 